How's it going, YouTube? I don't know how I'm going to title this video, but lately, I've been... Well, it's a lazy Friday for me. I've been thinking about a lot of things because it's a lazy Friday and have the opportunity to self-reflect. And I've noticed there's a lot of things that piss me off, much more than usual. I went to listen to some rock bands and a, I like a lot of songs from the 90s, of course, the early 2000s. That alternative rock scene was badass for me. But if I look up a song that's more than seven years old, I'm going to deal with a lot of nostalgia facts. I'm going to deal with a lot of people that are currently pushing 30 or something around that time and they're just like please guys I'm begging you don't waste your childhood oh man how does time fly man all these wasted years this shit song used to be my jam what happened to music it's nothing like this I have to deal with this anytime I look up a song that I like the YouTube comment section is starting to become a bit of a curse because now I have to realize that the music I like is made up of people that honestly are about to fucking shoot themselves in the fucking head cause they're stupid and they've wasted their earlier lives guys that listen to stuff from the early 80s or the 60s and 70s don't have to deal with this cause they deal with baby boomers and baby boomers already have an inflated ego they're already Oh man, we had the best childhood. Our shit was the shit. Like, we were doing all lines of coke and shit. I've made stupid decisions, especially when punk rock kicked in, but I was smoking weed since I was six. And they have made regrettable decisions that have cost them their, a lot of things they could have been doing in their middle ages or out their middle age or push an old age but because they made stupid decisions they regret it but they like their childhood they don't have to cry about it they don't have to cry about modernity they don't have to have that I'm about to slip my wrist because I'm pushing 30 kind of thing they're fucking 60 they're happy about the fact that they rule the world so as much as I hate baby boomers at least at least they they're not as depressed they don't seem to act like they're about to shoot themselves in the fucking head they've already done all that crack that heroin that meth they've been living that life after this I've been dealing with more niggas feeling more niggas I want dead I was Feeling a little bored, so I thought about if that's some porn. I went everywhere, and all I got were niggas commenting, I feel with no girlfriend. I feel with no girlfriend. I'm just a loser with no girlfriend. Of course, I'm in the porn section, so I expected this. It wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, I like it when I look at the comments section to a porn video and I got a bunch of wannabe alphas talking shit about the girl they just fapped on. But, other than that, it's expected. Someone's gonna really be a good boy. But, of course, I'm feeling really picky today and I think that none of what I was watching or what I was about to watch was gonna give me a hard on so I thought you know fuck it I'm just gonna wait a few days and see if something catches my interest or maybe something does later catch my interest I decided I was gonna check my YouTube activity my tumblr activity seeing all the niggas calling me racist bigot racist bigot but then guess what what else are they talking about other than the fact that guys like me are bigots? Uh, that feel with no girlfriend. 
just a whole lot of that. Which I didn't like. I checked my Facebook and try to see any notifications I missed out. I, I'm usually online Facebook waiting for the goose to inbox me want Skype or some shit. I, I'm down for all that. That's kind of fun. I'm not doing much, so why not? Take advantage. Carpe diem. And then on my news feed, all I see is that feel with no girlfriend. Yeah, I've been single forever. I'm tired of being a virgin, man. I'm tired of not knowing what sex feels like. I to kill myself, BRB. That's alright. I noticed I had some notifications on Instagram, too. And I, I checked Instagram, and... It, it's the ghetto version. Yeah. It's been minutes since I've been fucking... Why don't you respond to my emails? Like... Gosh, everyone's so sensitive now. Everyone's on a field trip. Not a field trip. A field trip. And that bothers me because, really, is it that serious? Fuck. Just on a field trip. Just don't even know what to do with their lives. I'm thinking, it's not that serious. Um, a year ago, I had a tagged account. Uh, I was looking through Wikipedia for other social networks since Facebook was pissing me off. I heard that there was another Harvard made site around 04 called Tagged, and that Forbes said it was going to take over. So I'm thinking, wow, this sounds like it has a lot of promise. And it says that there's no longer an instant messaging feature, I'm thinking, wow, that's better, because I hate instant messaging. I checked Tagged out, and Tagged is basically completely a dating site. It's like it's on a field trip. And now I'm even more pissed off, so I'm thinking, damn, I, I really fucked up. It's like a bunch of 14-year-old niggas. One of them inboxed me, actually. Uh, I'm gonna even screenshot this. Yo, bro. How you doing? How you doing? Yo, you wanna double team some girls? What? I didn't even know what to respond. You know it's bad when even I don't know how to respond to that shit. Not, not that no one's ever asked me that question before. But no one that's a complete stranger has given me that question. Are we gonna double team some girls, man? If you're gonna get laid, uh, let me know. We could probably have a threesome. Shit. I've been told that like three times. As much as I can remember. Shit. So basically. Guys, please stop having feels on the internet. If you're gonna have feels on the internet, save that for something like 4chan. 4chan, that's okay. Tumblr steals a lot from 4chan and completely liberalizes it, makes it politically correct. So, go ahead and do it there on Tumblr, too. Have a field trip on Tumblr. Uh, you can have a field trip on... Facebook just find a way to make it so that I can't see it on my news feed. I'll do my best. I'll meet you guys halfway with that, but don't don't ruin my time because you wasted your life and you're fucking empty. This is Mr. Wonka 7. I want you guys to take care and respect the king.
no longer the holidays, so I can say that without acting like a messiah.